Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is currently raining pretty hard outside and I'm trying to get Ozzy to go potty before I head to the airport. He doesn't like the rain though, so he's <laughs> not doing a very good job right now. But first things first, I heard you guys' feedback about the live and it sounds like a lot of you guys would prefer I do it in May, so that's gonna be the plan. We'll do it that first Thursday evening of May. I don't know the date. I'll look it up and then I'll let you know by the end of this video. So that's good. That'll give me time to get ready for that. I've never done a live before, so this first one will probably be, you know, a trust the process kind of thing. <laughs> Hopefully it's simple and I can figure it out. If it's not simple, then it might be kind of rough. But Anyways, we're starting a three day today. I have about 10 minutes till I'd like to leave the house and I'm ready, except for I just need to get my food in my lunchbox. So once I do that, I'm gonna head on the road. So let's get that all packed up and then head to the airport. For meals, I am taking just a slice of pizza for lunch. I have two little um, helpings of, it's called chicken noodle casserole, but it's like chicken, broccoli, rotini pasta and some other stuff then i've got my coffee and i'm gonna try this creamer but if i don't like it i did bring my regular creamers also brought some celsius for one to say for the red eye back because i am working a red eye this trip so that should hopefully help with the drive and then i made some dill pickle pasta salad so i brought that to munch on i brought some cream cheese and a bagel for one of my breakfasts is that a word? Breakfasts. <laughs> and then um, I brought a banana that I will need to eat today because for some reason bananas just do not keep in the air. And some almond butter to go with that. This is just kind of an extra meal if I need it. This is just an extra breakfast thing if I need it. And then just lots of different snack options. I don't usually eat all these snacks, but it's nice to have in case I'm like extra hungry one day. Oh, sit. Sit down. Good boy. All right, I love you. I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> Bye. It was a pretty crappy day weather-wise in the Carolinas. The whole drive from Greenville to Charlotte was raining, but I'm one of those weirdos who loves to use their windshield wipers, so didn't mind at all. Got to the employee lot at 1.45. My sign-in was at 2. I did have to wait for the shuttle a little bit, but don't worry. I made it on time. I did get randomly selected at TSA, though, to go through, like, regular security, which we don't love that. It's been happening to me all the time lately, but is what it is. First leg of the day was to Philadelphia, and then we had a little bit of a sit there, so I did some CQ modules because I have CQ coming up in a couple days, so needed to get those done. Then we went to San Diego from Philadelphia. Long day for us, but we made it. I'm supposed to serve ice cream sundaes on those long flights for dessert, but the ice cream was melted because they didn't put any dry ice on the ice cream. We love that. The total flight time was 5 hours 11 minutes, and it took me 3 hours to do the service, so I didn't sit down till about 2 hours left and read my book. I'm reading The Giver of the Stars. When we got to the airport, we called for the shuttle, and the hotel was like, oh, it's not going to get there for a while, so just take a cab. And we were like, okay, but the hotel paid for it. So this hotel I've put on my channel before because it's very like old timey and just different than like your typical hotel. But it used to have like actual key that you would use to get into your room. It was like a, um, like a magnetic key almost type thing that you would stick in the door and twist and whatever. But look. They changed to key cards, y'all. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me sad. I love that little key. Even though everyone's like, I'm so glad they got rid of that because I couldn't figure out the door, which the first time I stayed here, it was a struggle. But after that, I like love that little key. And now it's a key card, it makes me sad. But anyways, we just got to the hotel. Local time is 10.10, which means it is 1 10 a.m. my time and I don't stay up till 1 a.m. anymore. Those days are long gone. So I am tired. Luckily, I did my devotions this morning before work. So I can just hop in the bed and go to bed. My plan for tomorrow, I don't really have like a big plan. It's been a while since I've laid over in San Diego, which San Diego is one of my like favorite 
domestic layovers to do. I just like love the city, but I haven't wanted to do red eyes lately other than on reserve. So I just haven't been able to get this layover or like to get it with a decent enough time to actually go out and do stuff. So I'm excited to be back. And my only real plan right now is I'm going to go to brunch tomorrow because I didn't pack food for breakfast for tomorrow. I packed it for like the flight back. And I'm going to go to Morning Glory, which I've also been to before and shown on here and get, I've been, y'all, ever since I had those souffle pancakes that time I went, I've been like thinking about them. So I need to go get some. So I'm going to go do that in the morning and a crew member of mine might go with me just depends on like what time we get up and stuff like that. But then after that, I'm not really sure. We'll see where the day takes us. But anyways, I'm going to get in the bed. Well, I'm going to wash my face and stuff first. Then get in the bed. And then see where our adventure takes us tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is day two. It I got up around 7.45. It's about 8.15 now. I went down to get some ice so I could try my coffee with my new little banana nut creamer. So let's see how it is. I can't really taste it. I think I need to put more in there because it's very subtle. I can kind of taste the banana, but I did put a ton of coffee in here. It's like filled to the brim. <laughs> So I probably need to add just a little bit more creamer. But my plan is, it's 8.15 right now. I'm probably gonna kind of slowly get ready and then try to head over to Morning Glory, which I'm gonna go get breakfast between like nine and 10. I texted my other crew member to see if she wanted to join or not. Um, I think she's still sleeping because I haven't heard back from her yet. So we'll see if I have a friend. If not, you guys know I don't mind going on solo adventures. But yeah, that's the plan right now. When I add more creamer to this, I'll tell you if I like it or not. Let me let me taste this by itself and see what it tastes like. If I can open this with one hand. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was twisting it the wrong way, y'all. Yeah, this just tastes like banana. So, I probably just need to add more. Cause I didn't know if like, cause it has coconut cream in it and sometimes coconut cream like overpowers everything. And it's kind of like a sourish taste to me or something. Like coconut milk tastes kind of sour to me. So I didn't know if I was just tasting like that part of it, but that actually tastes like banana. So maybe I'll add more to that and hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, let me start getting ready so I can go get those pancakes. I'm so excited about those pancakes. All right, guys, here is the Fit Check. Loving these jeans by American Eagle. I'm obsessed with them. So glad about them. I am bringing a jacket, Go Cox, which by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, yesterday we had um, a Carolina team on our flight and I had no idea until we were deplaning like this guy walked off and he had a Carolina text so I was like oh hey go Cox and he was like yeah and then a couple people later another guy came on and he had a Carolina sweatshirt and I was like oh my gosh go Cox and then after him it was like six different people that had on their like Carolina gear and I was like wait a minute <laughs> I was like well go Cox guys they're like yeah so I don't know if it was a tennis team or what I don't know what's in season right now but it wasn't like big enough to be because at first I was like, maybe it's softball, but I don't think it was big enough to be the softball team. And it was men and women, so I'm thinking maybe it was like tennis. I don't know. I need to look up like what Carolina sports were going to Philadelphia. But anyways, <clears throat> I bring my jacket because when I originally bid for this trip, it was saying that it was going to be like in the 70s today. But now it's saying the high is only 65. And 65 in California is a little bit different than 65 in South Carolina. So we're going to be prepared. But let's go get some breakfast. My crew member is not going to join me, but she said she may join me later in the day if we go out and do anything else. Right now, I'm thinking maybe Balboa Park because I've never been there. But another one of my crew members just texted and said something about Coronado. So we'll see what we end up doing. The restaurant was about a 20 minute walk from my hotel and it was in the little Italy part of San Diego, which has a ton of good restaurants. If you're ever in the area, go there. But here she is in all of her morning glory. Haha, <laughs> get it. 
Anyways, this drink was so pretty, y'all. I felt bad, like, drinking it. And there they are. The pancakes. Oh, my gosh. So good. My contacts were bothering me, so I had to take them out and put my glasses on. But I came back to the hotel after breakfast, which, by the way, I forgot how good those hash browns with the gravy are. Ugh. So good, guys. I'm obsessed with that restaurant. I love their breakfast. Love their drinks. If you're ever in San Diego, go to Morning Glory. Even though I think if it's the weekend, it can get really, really backed up. And they don't take reservations. So you can wait a long time to get seated. It wasn't bad today. I think the wait for parties was like around 30 minutes. Since I was by myself, I was able to sit like down immediately. But yeah, I came back to the hotel because originally my crew like other crew members were talking about going to Coronado Beach but one of them decided she's just not going to do anything today she doesn't feel like going out which you know happens sometimes sometimes it's just nice to relax in the room I've done that before um then the other one she went to the gym and decided to just go to the pool so I'm gonna just walk over to Balboa Park it's 12 15 it's um I was about to say an hour and a half. It's a mile and a half walk. So it's gonna take me like between 30 and 40 minutes depending on how fast I'm walking to get over there. If it's not a good walk, I'll just Uber back later. But my other crew member that's going to the pool was gonna go with me, but she doesn't know how long she's gonna be at the pool. And I didn't wanna wait too long so that I could get back and take a nap. I would like to get back around like 2.30 at the latest so that I can wash my face, maybe shower, depending on how gross I am now that it's starting to warm up outside. It's 66 degrees now, so it's a little bit more warm than they were thinking. It's supposed to get up to 68 now, so that's good. But yeah, let's go ahead to Balboa Park, see what's over there. I've never been before, so I'm super excited to go check it out. And then once we're done exploring that, we'll get back to the hotel and get ready for the red eye. So Balboa Park is just this like ginormous area that has all this different kind of stuff that you can do. So I started my adventures out at the Cactus Garden, wanted to see if they were really as like painful as people say. They are pretty painful, it would not feel good to like fall into one of those if I do say so myself. But there's little trails that you can go down if you want to. I was not wearing the appropriate clothing to do any kind of like intense trails. <laughs> Going up these stairs were a little bit difficult, but you could go walk the trails. You could just go look around at all the different buildings. I did go get a tea from the tea pavilion that's connected to the Japanese friendship garden because I was pretty hot from that mile and a half walk and the temperature was starting to rise. So I needed something to cool me down and that was very refreshing. I went to the Contemporary Arts Museum because it was free and art was very interesting. Not really sure what was going on with the babies on the plates, but yeah, it was good to get inside and cool off for a little bit. They have a lot of different museums all throughout the park. I think a lot of them you do have to pay for, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The botanical building was closed for renovations, but usually you can go walk inside and see all the plants and stuff. But when you look up Balboa Park, like this area is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the botanical building, the lily pond, and like this kind of picture. So fun fact about this garden, it used to be a nudist colony. So that's fun. Um, I went to the Rose Garden, which out of all the gardens I went to, this one was my favorite. I was obsessed with all the roses, and they just had them in all different colors, and they were huge. I have so many pictures of roses on my phone because I would take a picture of one, and I was like, this is the best one, and then I would see another one, and I was like, no, this is the best one. I loved it. But I finished my day out walking through the Spanish Village Art center and they have these colorful like sidewalks so fun lots of art i ended up ordering an uber back and my uber driver drove a tesla i've never been in a tesla before and the doors don't have handles <laughs> so i was like um how do i get out of this car <laughs> so he had to show me how to get out of his car also i double tipped him because when i went to go check on the ride it wasn't showing the tip so i like re-tipped and then it doubled it so the tip was more than the ride even cost so he better rate me five stars y'all <laughs> but anyways um i am going to wash my face i'm gonna take a body shower i'm not gonna wash my hair because my hair's not crazy but i walked like almost five miles today so 
I'm a little bit gross and sweaty because it was hot and I was in these jeans. So I'm gonna take a shower, wash my face, and then I'm gonna eat like a little, I think I'm gonna eat that pasta salad and then do my devotion really quick before I lay down. It's almost three o'clock, so hopefully like doing all that will kind of wind me down. I'll be able to sleep for a couple hours. I have a little bit of a headache, so I'm also hoping that the nap will like help that headache go away. But yeah, let me go ahead and get in the shower so I can start kind of letting my body know it's time to rest so that we can stay awake during this red eye. This pasta salad is gonna be my new snack obsession. It is so good. I was in the bed for like three and a half hours, but I know I did not sleep for that long because I kept getting up. I was getting like really hot, so I kept having to get up to try to like mess with the thermostat. But it's one of those old ones where you do the dial so you don't actually know like what the temperature is in the room. And I kept messing with the fan and it just nothing seemed to work. It would be good for like 30 minutes and then I would get really hot again. But while I'm finishing up getting ready, I figured I would share with you guys my devotion. So I was reading in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy, which is where it's basically like the second giving of the law, which is where Moses is telling them like, this is what you did before. So let's remember not to do that and remember to do this so that we don't have to walk the desert for another 40 years, you know? And he got to one point and was saying like, hey guys, just a reminder that this land that you're receiving is not because of anything special that you did. Like you don't deserve this land, but God loves you and he's gracious. So he's giving you this land. Also the people that live in the land are super wicked. So they need to get out of the land. And it was just such a good reminder because as Christians we're called to live in the world and not of the world. But there's so many things that the world like preaches to us that sound really good, but that the Bible says is not true and like with reading that just made me think of how like the world is you know constantly saying like you are enough you deserve this and that and you know all that stuff and the bible's like no you're a sinner you deserve hell but because of the grace of god and because he sent his son to die on the cross which by the way i don't know if you guys saw that meme that was like circling around that was like, Jesus died and then rose again three days later. He didn't die for your sins. He gave up his weekend or something. And y'all, that meme made me so mad. Like, the fact that people are trying to, like, say what God did on the cross doesn't mean anything is, like, I don't know. That, like, offended me, really. But anyways, um... But yeah, the Bible is like, we don't deserve anything and like, you're not enough, but that's okay because God is enough and his grace is sufficient for you. And you know, if he's working on your behalf, then you know, you plus God is enough <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. And so it's so important to remember that like, it's okay to have confidence and to hear those memes and kind of like hype yourself up. But at the end of the day, you do need to remember that like, without God, we are nothing. We're basically dead, you know, and the life of sin. And, yeah, I mean, I just think of, like, cancel culture. Imagine if, like, God was, like, a fan of cancel culture. We'd all be canceled because we sit against him every single day. <laughs> so, just remember, like, it's such a good reminder to read your Bible and remember, like, what God is saying versus what the world is saying. Because the world is saying things that feed into our human desires, which is, like, selfishness. And so, yeah, there's your Bible daily devotions by me. <laughs> here was our route back to Charlotte. We did have to go around some weather, so we had some bumps here and there on our way back. Red eyes are super easy because it's just the snack basket and pretty much everybody is sleeping on the flight, but that does mean that they feel like they last forever long. So to entertain myself, I drank tons of coffee and then ate my dinner, which was the chicken noodle casserole and read some of my book. I freeze on red eyes. So I bring this little travel blanket and it works pretty well. And then when everybody's sleeping, it just makes you so tired and I was fading. So I drank some of my Celsius to give me energy. 
It is 5.45, so I should get home around 7.30, which is super nice that we got in so early because I should not have any traffic, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing it. I was smart and used the bathroom on the plane before <laughs> I got off <laughs> so that I wouldn't be about to bust at the seams when I got home. But I feel okay right now. I drank the Celsius right before we landed so hopefully it'll kick in and I can get home I have another one but I'm not gonna drink it unless it's like a last resort unless I'm like just dying because I think if I drink all that caffeine I'm gonna like have a heart attack you know so we don't want to <laughs> do that but let's go home I also want to be able to take a nap when I get home so if I drink too much caffeine and I'm just like wide awake that would not be good but let's go home you guys silo went to a new groomer and they completely <laughs> shaved his hair off you should just got a your hair cut and it's all shaved now you can see his little tail <laughs> he used to be a fluff ball now you're just a fat boy now you're just a fat boy sigh he does not care at all ozzy where are you going you guys look how nice and clean my room is. It's so nice to come home to a clean room, isn't it? Oh, I'm not gonna take your bone. I'm not. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. But anyways, that Celsius worked for the first like hour of my drive, and then the last thirty minutes was rough. But it's seven twenty-five, so I'm about to take a good nap before I have to go to an appointment this afternoon. I have a facial appointment at twelve thirty which is why I bid for this trip. I don't remember if I told you guys that I bid for this trip, but I knew that if I didn't bid for a red eye, they would call me for something and I would miss my facial appointment. And I have to do it this month because my mom got me and my sisters a gift card for Christmas. And I assumed that it was good through like the year, but it expires in May. So, and I didn't realize that until like two months ago. And last month I just had too much stuff going on and then this month on all my days off she didn't have anything available so I had to do it for today but I need to take a nap before we do all that but anyways I think let me look up the date um so as of right now I will plan on doing the live all right, you guys give me your feedback one more time. So I'm gonna do it on the evening, but I can either do it the evening of the fourth, which is a Thursday, or the evening of the fifth, which is a Friday. I don't wanna take you guys weekend night away, so that's why I'm asking for your feedback. If it works for more people to do Friday, then we'll do Friday, but don't waste a weekend night for me y'all okay but anyways as always any questions comments whatever put them in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video bye